some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State with the Siberian kitten as he attempts to be a roadside lawyer only to make himself look like a total incompetent fool once again. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, Sergeant, you don't need to purposely blind me with your light. What's that? You don't need to purposely blind me with your light. I'm a Turn it off. Oh, who died and made you the big boss, man? I mean, do you have any authority over these cops whatsoever? Because if you did, you could easily tell them to walk away from this uh, scene and uh, they'll do exactly that. I mean, but you know what? You have no power. You have no authority. You have nothing. In fact, you're just a lazy frauditor coming out here to uh, annoy the cops because you have a grief with them because you couldn't get away with any of your uh, dumbass crimes. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, dude. Cry me a river and build a bridge over it because you suck. You guys all right? Why'd you stop you? You can talk to me. She can't stop you from talking. That's all right. It's 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 not just gonna go on YouTube. It's gonna go for your evidence. Oh, so you're gonna provide this as evidence? Has she been arrested, or is she going to be arrested, or anything like that? I mean, you don't know that yet. You don't know what they're charging her with if she's gonna be charged at all, and not to mention the fact that uh. This probably won't be admissible in court unless they can prove that you didn't manipulate this video from the very beginning, which you frauditors are known to do. You know, a clever edit here, a clever edit there to uh, build your false narrative. I mean, you, in a sense, would become the very thing that you claim that you're fighting against. Being a tyrant and being a complete dishonest asshat. Well, you're already both of those, so I really do think that the uh, lawyers would just blow you off because you're just an incompetent buffoon. I would, I would not answer their questions. If they ask you about a question, hey sir, you're just, interfering uh, with my contact right now. If you can just stand how? up, so you can record. How? By communicating. With how you. am I interfering? If I answer your questions, will you not respond to some of Ple Plead the fifth. Just say I plead the fifth, and I decline to answer your questions. That is your right. You also have the right to talk to me. They can't tell you don't talk to me. That would be a violation of your rights. Yeah, sorry, dude. But uh, the honest fact is that uh, at this moment that you are interfering with this investigation right here as per the uh, Washington State 
code on that very matter. In fact, it says here, willfully hinders. And that doesn't need to be a physical act. In fact, what you're doing right now is uh, hindering the investigation by, well, telling the uh, subject of the investigation what to do instead of, you know, backing off and observing. And, and don't allow them to search your vehicle, too. Ma'am, ma'am, just stay. I do not consent to any searches and seizures. Stay on record. They have body cams. Do not consent to any searches or seizures. They better get a warrant if they want to search your car without probable cause. They have to establish probable cause to search your car. If they don't have a warrant, you tell them I do not consent to any searches or seizures. So they won't violate your rights. And then if they do search it without a warrant, use that in court so that all the evidence would be not admitted. Oh, yeah. You can definitely tell that this guy is a uh, dropout from uh, the Chile de Castro School of Law. I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, let's take a look at the plain view doctrine, which you uh, frauditors claim is the... Uh, doctrine that allows you to do what you do when it's actually not that at all. It, in fact, uh, is a tool in the cop's arsenal that ensures that if there's something in plain view during the investigation, then they can uh, take that as evidence against you. They can seize it as evidence without a warrant. And then there's that little uh, matter of, uh, well, does the car belong to her or does it belong to somebody else? If it does not belong to her, then she does not have the consent to give to the officers to begin with. I mean, where do you pull this stuff out of? I mean, have you been watching too many damn uh, YouTube videos from, uh, well, Chile? I mean, of course you have. I mean, you're a failed YouTube law scholar. I mean, so is he, but... So you know what they say, the blind leading the blind, and the morons leading the morons. And, it, and I'm not a lawyer, don't worry about it. I'm just giving you, just giving you a simple guidance. For searching your yeah. Don't give them any consent. If they ask you if they can look inside the car, search is a nope. I do not give you consent. Why did they stop you? What's the traffic stop? Don't, 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 just... Don't admit to anything, just say what they, what they said. I had to just say uh, something about Target stealing cars, I mean, but were, I still say, Were you a driver? Huh? Were you a passenger? 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 Especially when you're a passenger, do not. You don't have to ID because you're just a passenger. You don't have to tell them anything and they, until they suspect you of a crime. Hey, you gibbering idiot. Didn't you hear what the accusations were? They were uh, allegedly spotted shoplifting at a local uh, store. So that's the probable cause right there, which is what you're whining, crying, and complaining about at this time. Oh, they have no probable cause to search your vehicle no matter what. You do have to establish prob probable cause. But you know what? You, do, you guys don't get probable cause because there's no such thing as probable cause no matter what they say. But you know what? You're just a freaking idiot. I mean, the store caught somebody on camera taking merchandise that didn't belong to them without paying. And they called the police. They showed them the footage. And that becomes the probable cause for this stop, considering they saw this all on camera. The uh, outside exterior cameras saw the vehicle. So now you've definitely got a good investigation. You've got good probable cause. So shut your dang mouth, dude. You have, you have a lot of rights when you're just a passenger. A lot of rights. And these guys, they will violate your rights the moment they can. You see how she already threatened, threatened me with the crime when I have not committed a single crime? Obstruction? Using my voice? They know better than that. They know better than that. You all right, buddy? Okay.
Ma'am, don't talk to them about anything. Ma'am, ma'am, you have the right to, to keep quiet. Don't talk to them, period. Let me suggest that you don't speak to them at all. Please, don't self-incriminate yourself. They'll catch you in anything. Don't answer anything. Don't tell them anything about yourself, your life, nothing. Just quiet. Stand there and let them do their thing. They will let you go. They will catch you. Remember, they're going to use it all in court against you. Stop talking because yeah, it looks yeah. like they want to arrest you. Stop talking. Seriously. Realistic. Seriously, if you don't want to get yourself in deeper trouble, just okay. stop. Only if they pronounce you to be under arrest, you have to identify yourself. You suck! I can adjust them. Which one's tight? Both of them? Still the tan, being you did commit the crime, so we didn't finish our. I didn't. Well, you stole. Well, I didn't, because you didn't steal it knowingly. What? Uh, Okay, uh, dude, uh, let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Siberian Kitten. Uh, this woman allegedly uh, stole from a local store. Uh, would you want her to escape justice, or do you just want people like that to uh, get away with their little crimes and uh, raise the prices for everybody else? Because that's what's going to happen, because we all pay for that crap. Oh my goodness, I forgot. God, who I was talking about. I'm talking to a known criminal. Of course he would uh, let that woman go because, well, it's a victimless crime. That kind of thing. I mean, there was no victim in all this. All she did was uh, take a couple uh, items from a, uh, a pathetic little store that uh, would uh, prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law and probably put her away for a few months. I mean... Uh, why ruin her life over a couple of, uh, uh, well, worthless items? And you know what I, the no a normal person would have to say about that? Well, maybe her life won't be entirely ruined, and maybe this will be a wake-up call for her. And maybe somebody will learn a lesson about not stealing from anybody. Listen, ma'am, I'm... Just for your own good. Don't say anything at all. Unless they have evidence to prove your crime, they can't prove crap. You keep talking, you're going to admit to something inadvertently and self-incriminate. You understand? They have to prove that you have actually committed whatever they're accusing you of, allegedly. Hey, listen, you dumbass Siberian putty tat. I told I told a putty tat. 
they did say that the Target store had probable cause. They had the video. They have everything that they need. And if you would shut up for a few minutes and let somebody else talk, maybe you would see that maybe they do have probable cause. But no, you're just going to use your selective reasoning skills to get beyond that. Don't talk to them. I'm here to actually assist you. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. And if they ever and if they actually end up taking you and booking you, do not answer. You ask for a lawyer. You have a right to be represented by an attorney. Just have her sit in her car. No. Oh, don't put it in your car. Keep her warm. No, how detention works, and we're honestly trying to release Well, if she's home. detained, you can put her in, in your car. She's, she's asking you. She's arrest. cold, clearly. Detained is almost the same thing as being under arrest. She can't go anywhere, right? Almost the same thing, yep. That's right. So put her in your vehicle, and you can detain her in, in the cruiser so she can stay warm. Remember, remember how you detained my wife for two and a half hours? In the cruiser? In handcuffs? She was under arrest. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. The incident that caused you to be a frauditor. But you do realize that uh, what happened was there was a repossession of your uh, wife's car. And she decided to be a royal pain in the ass and jump into it. And, uh, well... It escalated from there with you trying to threaten the officers that responded to the scene. And, uh, well, the SWAT team had to get involved in that. And, well, your children weren't any help either. So you giving legal advice is kind of ironic in this situation. Well, any situation, considering that you made all the wrong decisions that night. Ma'am, seriously. Oh. Just remember, they want to they want you to be relaxed. They want to strike a conversation with you. So you inadvertently admit to something wrong. Or or committing a crime. So just stand there by your car. Okay? I understand it's not comfortable. I know how to be in handcuffs. I've been there. I've been there. So I'm telling you, just don't talk to these guys. They're not your friends. They pretend like they're cool, they're nice, they're not your friends. They're going to get you on any little thing. That's how they get paid. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> uh, did I hear you right? That sounded a lot like that uh, you believe that uh, police officers get paid per arrest rather than being salaried? Uh, dude... You're a complete bozo and a moron. They're not here to assist you. So just stand there and don't talk to them. And, and what I'm doing is actually gathering records for you. So if you see your video on the, on the YouTube, on my channel, download it and use it in court as evidence. Huh? I, I, there's like too much noise from that side. You like block my face out if you're going to post it. Well, oh, I do care. I do care. But but it it will depend on how this goes. I may post it, I may not. Don't worry. So at one point you say that you want her to use it as evidence, and then at another point uh, within a few moments of that you say. You may or you may not post it. Uh, dude, uh, 
You're just playing games at that point. And then you go and say, if you find my video on YouTube, uh, you can use it as evidence. Uh, so you're not going to give her your YouTube channel so she can at least, well, look it up and see if she can use it. I mean, uh, wouldn't that be kind of counterproductive to not uh, give her your YouTube channel name? I mean, it might help as you think it might help, but I really doubt it will help. In fact, she sounds like she doesn't want to be video taped by a moron like you. But you know what? I can imagine why you would want to do that, because if they knew your YouTube channel name, they could file a privacy complaint against you. And that's something you don't want to happen to your video now, is it? We all know the truth. I think I think I should probably post your face because people actually are going to support you. People are actually going to be cheering on for you because they These guys here, they're piece of trash. They're corrupt as hell. Yeah. They're corrupt as hell. And the, you know the reason I should post it is so that if you have a lawyer, he can actually locate it. Because I don't know who you are. I don't want you to say, say your name. I can find it. But I would rather have your lawyer contact me. And get a good one too. Just look at their faces, look at how they're smirking. Do you know why they can't touch me anymore? Because they screwed up on my case. You see how they're smirking? See, they know that they've really, really screwed up. And now, now watch. You see? Now watch. I can, I'm standing with these pigs. I'm pointing my finger in their face and guess what? They can't do jack. You know why? Because this is a free country. Because I stood my ground and I told them to go to hell and to kiss my ass. And now, watch it, watch every single face, even the sergeant over there. Even that, that was the lead guy who broke, that was the lead guy when they busted through my house. And pepper balled my kids, pepper balled my wife, arrested me, falsely charged me, arrested my wife, and pepper balled my kids. That's what I'm telling you, do not trust these bastards. You know, dude, uh, maybe you should take down your uh, video that uh, shows all the lies that you just uh, talked about. Because, well, what you say and what the video actually shows are two completely different things. So who are we to believe? The lying frauditor or the video that actually caught the event? So, yeah, tough call. You see, I'm not just here. I'm protecting my fellow Americans. So, is this your car? You don't have to answer his question. Really. Well, you can talk to me however you want. Don't, don't even listen to this guy. You can talk to me. Just don't say anything that might put you in the spot of uh, not being comfortable with having that message relayed to them. There you go. You see, that's because I'm making them give, in, give you comfort. That's <laughs> no, because you're making her uncomfortable. No, it's because she doesn't want to be on YouTube. No, you don't want to be on YouTube. She's perfectly consent with that because now she clearly understands what I'm doing for her and what you're doing to her. Wow, talk about being an outright liar, dude. I mean, come on now. Uh, she just said that she didn't want to be on your YouTube channel, yet you're standing here saying, oh, she doesn't mind being on my YouTube channel. In fact, she loves the fact that it's going to help her out. Uh, no, dude, that's not what she said at all. I just don't see how you frauditors can live with yourselves lying daily like this, lying uh, like this all the time lying to everybody as if it was easy as drinking water i'm in good freaking grief dude yeah yeah you're all famous too you'll be soon very every single one of you soon will be very famous sure. oh sure 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 Do I get royalties from that or just famous you nah oh. it's all going to my pocket now 
thanks to you. To me? Well, <laughs> you, everybody. When I say you, I'm including you and everybody else. Yeah. This entire county. Yeah, just, just the tyrants. Just the tyrants. Traitors. Traitors to the United States Constitution. So, traitors. Oh, they're traitors to the Constitution. Okay, dude. Uh, you do realize that the Constitution defines uh, uh, being a traitor as uh, providing aid and comfort to the enemy? Look it up, dude. It's in there. I'm not blocking anybody. Well, can you get out of the roadway? Well, so am I. I'm, I'm gathering uh, news content. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Sir, if you don't want to answer any questions, tell them I plead the fifth. I'm letting you know Sergeant, right now. shut up. There's I nothing. Have a conversation. Shut up, Sergeant. If you My freedom of speech. You're interfering with How? Officer, freedom of speech is not interference, dumbass. Why don't you prove the first interference, okay? The first obstruction, then we can talk about the second one. Because you haven't even proved the first one yet. Tell him I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. I refuse to answer questions. That is your right, sir. That is your right. Don't self-incriminate yourself, sir. Don't self-incriminate yourself. Well, I'm just going to end the video right here, everybody. I mean, the male suspect was arrested and taken into custody for the shoplifting charge, while the female suspect was let go on her own recognizance at this point. But unfortunately, the Siberian tiger follows her around for a bit and tries to uh, make her understand that he's right and she's wrong in this particular occasion. But you know what? He's just nothing more than a creep and a liar for that matter. I mean, several lies were shown throughout this video and he tried to, uh, well, say that they were the truth. But you know what? One rule about frauding. It, uh, you got to lie to fraud it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?